This is Lightman here to demonstrate the latest in the candy cane factory progress. What I have in front of me here is the candy cane dispensing system that is a threaded rod with 50 candy canes on it that would drop into the chute and then into the tray that would be lowered for the kids. The system is being run by a continuous servo motor rather than a DC gearhead motor and I'll demonstrate it now. In triggering the system, the servo motor turns the rod, drops the candy cane down the chute, and there would be a sensor here that I just represented with this switch that would turn the system off. The tray would be lowered and come back up. The kid would obviously take his candy cane. And then we'll be ready for the next show. Next show would start. The candy canes drop off about every six seconds, so there's plenty of debug time or uh, def uh, buffer time here in terms of before the next candy cane would be distributed. And that's how it works. To take a closer look at what's going on, I've taken a continuous servo motor, coupled it through a vinyl tubing to prevent any kind of misalignment of the bearings. There's a main bearing here that's actually metal. And the threaded rod, which is a 3 8 inch threaded rod, not a 1 quarter, that then holds all 50 candy canes. Actually, it'll hold 55 on the magazine. There's the chute and the tray. To activate it through the activity board here, press the switch. And you can see how the coupling works. The candy canes move down the threaded rod one by one and obviously then fall off into the end. I'll just let it run continuously here. And give you a different viewpoint of how this works. I've also added a fin underneath for structure that has a plastic bearing here and here that holds the threaded rod up. It isn't necessary. The bearing here is strong enough to handle the load, the cantilevered load but I wanted to help reduce some of that by putting this fin in to hold it up. End of test.